am I still transitioning? It's like, seriously, I'm almost at 18 months on hormones by now. I thought I'd be done by now. I thought I'd finally be at the point where I'd be done worrying with gender, where I could just look in the mirror and see a girl and be done with it, and not constantly have to think about, yeah, well, I look female-ish, but, and still having just all of these buts and just still feeling like I am constantly fighting against my natural appearance, trying to get it to look female despite its best efforts to the contrary. I'm so jealous of girls who look completely female right now. And I'm so tired of looking in the mirror and looking at my square jaw and my brow bossing and my receded hairline and my hair that's... M this is 18 months of hair growth. Grow faster, damn it. God, how hard is it to just have a full, long head of female hair? Is it really this difficult? I'm just so tired of fighting. Alright, anyway, now that we have the introductions out of the way, let's talk about why I haven't made a video in so long. So, basically the reason why is I was trying to just kind of, now that my name has changed, now that all of that is done with, I, am, I was trying to just get out in the world and live my life as a girl and not think about being trans anymore. And for a while it worked, but then... My mom took a few pictures of me, and I still looked like a guy, and I got gendered male for the first time in a couple of months, and it really threw me off, and every single time I have put on a male t-shirt, I have been gendered male, so apparently I'm still not passing as a girl unless I am wearing female clothes, and every time I try to wear my hair down, I've gotten stared at, so... I still have to tie my hair back if I don't want to appear if I apparently don't want to look blatantly trans. So that's what really irks me is that I feel like my passability is just so fragile. There's just so many male features that I'm constantly fighting against. And every single day when I'm getting dressed and getting ready to leave the house, my very first concern always has to be am I passing? And there's so many times where I look in the mirror and to my own eyes, I'm not. And I still just look male to myself in the mirror. And, you know, even when I look good to myself, very rarely do I say, yes, I am a woman, nobody will question it. It's usually, yeah, I gender myself female, I'm androgynously female-ish. Why does it have to be this way? Why can't I just be a girl unquestionably instead of constantly having to fight, constantly having to have those butts, constantly worrying if every little stare is because somebody is clocking me? Ugh. It just constantly drains my energy and constantly makes me jealous of cis women who never have to question whether they are female or not. You know, a bad hair day is just a bad hair day, and a bad outfit is just a bad outfit. And it's not a threat to, that makes them look male if it's not right. And, you know, there's still just so many things that I can't do. I've tried so many times to wear you know, women's shirts, and I can't wear anything sleeveless because my arms are still too big, I can't wear strap stuff because my shoulder, it makes my shoulders look too wide, every time I take a video of myself from the back, I still look completely male to myself because my shoulders and my back are so big, and I still have a half bald patch in the back of my head, fuck testosterone. <sighs> This just has not been a good week and a half for me, you know. Being out there, being full-time, in many ways it actually makes it harder because there isn't that fallback of, well, I'm still not there yet. Now I'm getting far enough along in hormones that I don't know if I can believe that I'm ever going to look completely female. I don't know if I have that hope anymore. That's just what I want to know, is, 
am I ever going to look in the mirror and just see a girl and not see someone who even on my best days still can't believe that I would ever not be clocked as trans blatantly. My trans friends won't even humor me on my possibility of being stealth. They say, no, no way. I mean, you look like a girl, but people can still clock you. Why? So yeah, I don't want to make this seem worse than it is. For the past, for about a month and a half straight, I was feeling good, but now I'm once again feeling bad about myself and once again wondering if I am ever going to get there. If I'm ever going to see a self that is just a girl and not a trans girl, not, yeah, kind of female-ish, but you know, where every single outfit isn't a threat to my passability, you know, where I can actually wear pretty things instead of just things that downplay my flaws. I just feel like I'm constantly fighting against a body that is not naturally feminine, and a face that is not naturally feminine, and hair that is not naturally feminine, and I still have to convince myself every single day that somehow I'm living up to the name that I am now, and uh, I need to vent. This has not been a good, good couple of weeks for me. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that I'm full-time and that I actually have my name and my legal documents completely changed, but I just wish I could feel like I'm living up to that name and living up to those pronouns that people use on me. That I could quit feeling like an inadequate person. That I could just go into a job and not have to worry about my gender to just be a girl and that's it. But I still feel like I can't. Okay, this video wasn't supposed to get so emotional. I don't even know if I'm going to post this one because this is just way more emotion than I thought was going to come out. And I can't even remember what I was originally going to say because I just started going into bitchy, complaining, crying mode. Ugh, okay. Let's just cut and try again soon. Bye.